Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today we're going to be in the Jianhui. That's my best pronunciation, so I am sorry to any Pan-Asians out there. Anyone, I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but that is my best pronunciation. So yeah, we're taking a look at it and not a bad looking ship. Let's get right into it. So we have the upgrades and loadout here. We have aiming systems mod 1 and it is fully upgraded as well. We have high explosive shells, armor piercing as well. We have something unique, which is unique to all Pan-Asian destroyers, and that is the deep water torpedoes. So look forward to that in the gameplay. We have, of course, damage control party, four smoke generators. They actually are pretty good. They last about two minutes, so not bad at all. And then we have, of course, our standard engine boosts. There's nothing really special about them. They give you a little bit of extra speed, so yeah. We have also the early adopter flag. And we have no camo on right now, so keep that in mind as well. For the survivability, we have 12,500 hit points with 6 through four uh, through 10 millimeters of armor. Not good at all. For the artillery, we have 5 120 millimeter guns, 9.2 kilometer range, 8 second reload. Not really good. These guns are not the best, so you're not really going to be wanting to use these guns. AP is okay, of course, if you get broadside to cruisers or destroyers. HE is mediocre at best. Torpedoes is where the ship starts getting a little different. As you guys can see here, they're on the center of the ship. This is, I believe, in a casta. I think Great Britain lend, lent this ship or gave this ship to the uh, to the Netherlands or something like that. I don't know. I don't know the history behind it, but I know it was given to some nation um, by the by the British. So keep that in mind. But yeah, not bad torpedoes. They are deep water. They have extra concealment. They have a better damage and better flooding chances because of the fact that they're deep water torpedoes. Keep in mind, though, they cannot hit destroyers. So yeah, you can only hit cruisers and battleships. A defense is bad. Don't depend on that at all. You literally have like one AA gun. And the maneuverability is not bad. 37 knots. And rudder shift is okay. It's pretty standard at the tier. It's pretty maneuverable. And for the concealment, it is 5.5. Um, so yeah, and the detectability by air is, yeah, it's okay. And of course, the guaranteed detect detectability is 2 kilometers, and the firing smoke penalty is pretty low as well, because it's a destroyer. So yeah, not a bad destroyer, all around pretty stealthy. For the armor, this thing is probably, yeah, <laughs> I don't even have anything else to say. You can look for yourselves, 10 millimeters of armor everywhere, it's awful. And uh, yeah, it's low, pro low profile, it's fast, and it has um, deep water torpedoes, which is a a good thing and a bad thing, depending on what the situation is. We have Eric Bay as an inspiration for the extra concealment. We have Subsurface Venture, Look at Me Now, Torpedo Safari, Smoke on the Water, and Give Me Speed. He is a Legendary 1, Rank 10 Captain. I'll see you all over in the gameplay. Enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, so here we are. We are in the Jianhui. We are going to be on, I believe it is Ring. It is a Domination Mode. So, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> I got to meet this guy right off the bat because, yeah, people are people, unfortunately. So, yeah, so the Jianhui is it's not a bad ship, but it's not the best ship either. Now, <laughs> I was about to give up on doing a video for this ship because I thought it was so bad. And it is. It's okay. But would I say it's something to, you know, go all crazy for and you have to get it? No, but unfortunately, I have to play it. And I, yeah, I managed to get a good match, though, and this is one of them. Now, keep in mind, if people, if people are out there who are like damage, this is not the game for you. But this game was actually insane, and it's probably one of my best games ever because of the fact that I had seven kills. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be a fun one. So, yeah, right off the bat, we are pushing in to the cap here, the Delta cap, and we are going to begin to ultimately slaughter this enemy team um so we're looking at our stats here i'm still learning these uh ships and trying to figure them out so basically i think the jianhui is an acasta the acasta if, if you guys aren't aware is a tier 4 british destroyer which as you guys know is british i think britain gave this ship over to one of the countries over in asia um and they basically made it an, an asian ship um i don't know the exact country but it is basically what it is. Now, right off the bat, we have two destroyers here, and which is a big problem. So we do smoke up, and since we smoke up, we are concealed, and our teammate to our off our bow, basically, is spotting them. And we are going to keep these guns rolling. Although they may not be the best guns in the world, they still can do some damage over time. 
But if I was in a gunfight with anybody else, like a Farragut, for example, which we are, he can't see me, but if I was in a 1v1 gunfight against a Farragut who knew what he was doing, I would probably lose the engagement almost every single time because of the fact that these guns are smaller by about 7 millimeters and they have worse reload by like 5 seconds. So, yeah, the guns aren't that good. Um, 8 second reload on these guns, which is absolutely atrocious. Now, we do get our first blood reward right there. We take out the enemy Farragut, and that's fantastic for us because then that means we have no gun threat from that Farragut. So now we see the New Mexico deciding to, looks like he wants to roll around that corner. So we dump our torpedoes out there. And I hope that destroyer there, that guy at A, doesn't run into them. Because that would be very unfortunate. And it does look like he is going to get some torpedoes off as well. In which he does. We do fire our guns off because we are concealed. Why not? And yeah, we're about to pull out of the smoke screen. Because we are trying to go chase down that enemy kamikaze. Remember guys, kamikaze is probably one of the best, if not the best, destroyers at tier 4. And that kamikaze is a huge threat to our team. So we need to go take him out. And we do manage, speaking of taking things out, we take out that enemy, New Mexico. And yeah, not bad at all. And there's the kamikaze. He has decided to sit in the smoke screen, which was a foolish idea. And we are going to keep these guns rolling. Also, keep in mind, we got our second kill. And we're about to get our third kill. And he actually does manage to torpedo our Gaetti, which is bad. But luckily, since I know he uses torpedoes, we are going to be able to take out this kamikaze just like so. And that is our third kill of the match. Three kills in the first two minutes of the match. Not bad at all. And we're going to keep this stuff going. So... Now we're starting to make our way over to their cap at their spawn to hopefully flip it and maybe even get some torpedoes out on this Queen Elizabeth. Now, do keep in mind that that enemy aircraft carrier is going to start coming after me because of the fact that I believe he doesn't want to lose his capture zone. So, yeah, he's going to start causing me a whole world of problems. Now, if you guys remember from the review, I pointed out that literally the John Wee only has like one AA gun. Therefore, if that carrier decides to have a hard on for me and come straight for me and try to kill me, he's probably going to succeed because one AA gun is not going to do really anything. So yeah, keep that in mind. So I, if I can help it, I'm going to try to stay away from that carrier, but he's going to force my hand soon. So we see this enemy destroyer here, so we start popping off shots because we want to get him off the board. He is a destroyer that's decently low. If we can get him out, that's fantastic. But unfortunately for us, we miss our shots because he slows down and he, yeah, he dodges him. So good job by him. Now, we do start dumping torpedoes out to this Queen Elizabeth. And I think they're going to miss because I don't think I perfectly aimed them correctly. I think I should have been a little bit more patient. But it's okay because we have a one minute reload on our torpedoes. So we start shooting at this enemy destroyer here. The enemy John Wee. And yeah. So these guns aren't the worst in the world. But they're definitely not the best in the world. There is a lot of other destroyers that will outdo this ship. And as you guys can see there, we just get torpedoed by the enemy carrier. I thought I was screwed here because... I mean, hey, that's a lot of ships that are really wanting me right now because I'm taking their home cap, and that is not fun. So, but we do see this enemy, we do see this enemy Gaetti, and he is very low. We're trying to get the kill so we can get our fourth kill, in which we do, and of course we set a fire because why don't we? And we start turning our fire over to this enemy Jiang Wei to hopefully get our Kraken, and yeah, so look at that. That was, that looked beautiful, and then the game's like, no, no, it isn't beautiful. And so we take another shot. And same thing again. We miss. <laughs> this game is absolutely trolling us right now. Third shot. Are we going to be able to get him there? No. <laughs> this game is absolutely trolling us. It is wanting to deny our Kraken. So I want this Kraken bad. Usually I would never pull out of the smoke screen. But right now I want this freaking Kraken. So I pull out of the smoke screen and I immediately shoot my freaking guns. I'm like, give me my Kraken, please go back to port. And there's my Kraken. We also captured their base as well. We got um, another kill. So that's our fifth kill. Now, if you guys remember, there's two more kills to be had here. And if you guys can think what kills I'm going to be getting, it's pretty easy. And look right there. That Queen Elizabeth is starting to slow down. So what we need to do here is I need to debate. Do I want to run or do I want to win harder? I don't have to even do anything right now. Right? But I want to do more. So I'm going to start pushing my way towards uh once i dodge these torpedoes i'm gonna start pushing my way towards those ships it's not a bad it's 
not really the best idea in the world. I should not be trying to win harder. But I noticed that the Queen Elizabeth is going to take a tour and then he's going to die. So I'm like, screw it. Let's go. So I'm going to start pushing in. And I'm going to see if I can go take out that carrier for causing me all the problems he has been causing me. And that flood is actually going to kill that Queen Elizabeth. And there we go. That is our sixth kill of the match. So the next target I want to see if I can take out here is this enemy um, carrier, the Vesser. So we start making our way towards him. We are beginning to plot a um, plot a course right behind him, basically. He looks to be wanting to go forward. So I actually am like, hmm, he might run into the island again. So how about we set our torpedoes right in front of him, kind of where he might stop. So I do. Now, remember, watch those torpedoes, guys. Watch those torpedoes, because I predicted that perfectly almost. So we start firing our guns, and as you guys can see there, these guns are just not good. Look at We're getting basically nothing. We're getting, I think, what is that? Shatters? Yeah. Not good at all. So don't depend on these guns unless you absolutely need to, because these guns, man, are not the best at all. So we start making our way out of the smoke screen, and I did fast forward a little bit. I think I had some recording problems, but we are basically right next to this guy, and we did manage to hit him a couple times with the torpedoes. So keep that in mind. We did predict pretty well, but... We are making our way towards him. Now we have to dodge these torpedoes. I could have potentially screwed up here. I could have made a Dr. Ghost potato move right there, but I do not. And I go right through the torpedoes. And I send one set there and I do a widespread just to make sure I catch him with one and get our seventh kill of the game. But it looks like we might not need to. He's so low that our guns should be able to finish him. And yeah, there we go. And there's our seventh kill of the match. And that's it. So yeah, we also dodge his torpedoes as well. And look. We only shot down a what? We haven't shot down a single plane yet. We haven't shot down anything yet. Told you guys, this AA man is not good at all. Um, do not depend on the AA and do not depend on the guns. Unless you absolutely need to. If you get into a gunfight and you have no choice, well, you have no choice. But yeah, these guns are not good at all. Now, it, there's one of his plans I just saw looks pretty low. And maybe my AA gun might catch it, but I'm not really sure. So what we're doing here instead is we are starting to make our way into their capture, their last cap that they have. And we are hopefully going to be able to capture it and make maximum amount of points. But as you guys can see there, oh, we actually do get a, we actually do get a plane shoot down. Wow. But as you guys can see there, um, the enemy team is absolutely losing very, very hard. They would have to have Jesus Christ himself on their team to win this match. So, yeah, they also just lost an, uh, their, one of their uh, ships as well. So, yeah. There is basically probably no hope for that team. And I don't think we're going to be able to capture this zone in time either because look at the look at the points. We are about to run up to 1,000 points and win this match. So my overall thoughts on the Jianhui, is it good? It's okay. Um, I think I still prefer other destroyers over this ship. Um, but it's not a bad destroyer if you play it well. But... In a, on a competitive standpoint and compared to other destroyers, I think this ship is probably probably one of the worst. Um, the only thing good going for it is its deep water torpedoes. It has okay stealth and, and very, very mediocre, if not bad, guns. It's not a very good destroyer. But, yeah, there's my review and gameplay for this ship. I hope you all did enjoy this one. And as you guys can see, there's seven kills, which is absolutely insane. I hope you all did enjoy. If you guys did, punch the like button, subscribe. Remember, 80% of you guys are not subscribed. And don't forget to comment down below your guys' thoughts. And I get back to almost everybody down there. And yeah, as always, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy.